Hey everybody, it's Evan Vanderbilt, another episode of Once Around the Block. I'm here with the one, the only. Lexi Bella. Hey Lexi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. It's gorgeous out. Yeah. Uh, I was just explaining to you that this is like all about conversation and you said yep. you love conversation. I do. It's your first love. It is. It's what I first got in trouble for when I was in grade school. Like the gift of gab. The gift of gab. Yeah. My first grade teacher made me move my desk next to hers because I was too talkative. <laughs> I didn't fucking stop though. All right. <laughs> Nothing stops you. Yes. All that's right. very true. Um, well, we're going to pass by a thing real quick. So why don't, mm -hmm. can you give us like a quick outline of who is Lexi Bella? Uh, I am an artist, a street artist and a fine artist um, that lives in New York City and I paint walls and uh, do giant murals much like this da, one da, da. at Centrifuge Art Project on First Street, First Avenue. Um, and I, come back around. Oops, I, sorry. Travel, sorry. I travel <laughs> around the world and do that and um, when I'm here in New York City and I'm not painting. I also run the art program at the Lower East Side Girls Club. Okay. Wow. There's there's a lot I'm going busy, on. I'm busy, and I'm a single mom. Really? Yes. That that's probably the hardest of anything. <laughs> it is. It's also the most rewarding. Absolutely. I'm I'm a father of two. I know oh, that, nice. that the kids kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they do take a lot out of they you. They take a lot out of you and they give you so they much, do. but it's, yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, it's how awesome. old are your kids? I have a three and a half and a 11 month old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hands Busy, full. busy. Yeah, exactly. My daughter's seven. Okay. So, I uh, actually have a mural in here too. Oh, wow. But this was actually the, the Lower East High Girls Club garden. Okay. But it's way in the back. We won't look at that right now. All right. Um, yeah, I have a seven-year-old, so now it's cool because she can actually like help me do chores and yeah, have some yeah. good conversation. But I don't know, I'd, I'd pop a couple more out. <laughs> you would, given the right circumstances. Right, given the right cir if we want to call it circumstances. Sure. Okay. <laughs> What's it like? So, I mean, is it normal to like be a professional street artist and like you know you hear a lot about the struggle no. and all this? <laughs> normal is not the word I would use to describe it. No. What is um, it? crazy, manic, compulsive. Okay. You know, like half the time when you're doing it, you're like, why the hell am I doing this? But then you just have a need to, you know, if I don't paint a mural, I mean, I paint in my studio as well, yep. but there's something about the public art form that once you start to do it, you just, and I, and this is, it came from graffiti, from just like the compulsive need to get your work out there right. in a public space and kind of let it go. And so I get grumpy if I don't paint a wall after like a couple weeks or a month. Oh wait, I think we have to go this way. Do we have to go this way? Right dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So after that, then I get really grumpy if I don't do it. So yeah, it's my, I don't know. keeps me sane. It's kind of weird how like. Even though it's insane. Exactly. I was just going to say, it's kind of weird how like, sorry, we are, uh, it's like there's, sometimes it's not even logical, but there's that need to keep going. To create. Yeah. yeah I think it's. It's the need to create. <clears throat> I think that all human beings are creative. Whenever I meet people that say they're not creative, I'm like, yes, you are. Totally. Like, what do you like? I think, you know, yeah. Even if it's just like you love to like create memes or something. Right. You know? There's a misconception about what creativity is, I think. Yeah. Know, because it's, it's like, oh, I have to be good at drawing. And yeah, if you're not good no. at drawing, then I'm not creative. But like business people are creative. Exactly. Right? Like, I mean, chefs, obviously. But yeah. even just... Um, the art of conversation is creative. <laughs> Filmmakers. So how about like you work with uh, the girls clubs, right? Yeah. So how, is, is there pulling out and showing them that they can be creative? Oh my god, that's 100% yeah. what it is. And I'm really lucky because um, I, as a teacher, I only wanted to teach on like a college level or teach outside of the Department of Education. Like right. I don't, I never got certified for that. I got a graduate degree in art pursue my career as an artist and um, it's really rewarding because a lot of my art has to do with empowering women, feminism, hi, I like my shirt, uh, <laughs> hello, um, but with the girls it's, it's so great because I get to teach them everything from painting, spray painting, to mask making, um, and now I'm working with the science department, um, we're actually going to like be learning about how science and art like can cross over to each other. And there's I think no... that's so important, combining things exactly. too, right? Exactly, yeah. and like learning through all these different avenues. So, um, so a lot of it is because they don't get a grade, and there's no like the end product is the is the product that you're making. It's right. not about 
like pressure Casting to or, right. Yeah. So that yeah, I really get to like teach these girls how to be creative. I get to teach um, art and activism. So how to be an activist through your art, which is really important right now with yeah. our current presidential administration. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and yeah, I have a lot of fun. I make sure that. I have fun with everything I do every day. So that's an important element, right? That's, oh my God, it, it's yeah. tough. If you start losing fun, things become horrible. Oh my God, yeah. And especially in this city, it'll pull you right down. Totally. You know? So how do you maintain that level of fun? Do you make an effort? Okay. Yes. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> All the time. You got to put on the... Um, the stre- you know, stress definitely plays into everybody's life. Totally. Um, especially when you're an artist or a single parent or all of those things combined. So um, I think, like I said, creating. I make sure that I draw or um, do something for my art every day. Yeah. Even if I'm not painting a giant wall, I'm just like doodling or making a little bit of like a half an hour of time at the end of the day. Sorry to interrupt, a giant wall like this one? Uh, yes, <laughs> okay. somebody tagged, but I'm all right with it. Okay, and it's the face, right? Yeah, it's the big green face. Yeah, super. Yep. And uh, so is there, what, it, are these like commissions or like projects or like, do you do, you do I mean, I guess that's a dumb question. Uh, never <laughs> well, mind. No, 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 it's not a dumb question at all because um, for some of them, it's a mural project where you can just paint whatever you want right. and they might pay for the paint. Right. Um, but you get a lot of shine off of that or, or exposure. Yeah. For some things, it's a commission. Like someone might hire me to like paint their business wall or... Um, sometimes it's corporate that's like good money right. but where they need me to paint for an event or sure, sure. like create something that's for also Red Bull combining two things right the creative with the event with the corporate side yeah that's the business that's you gotta the business be, part you have to be a good business person yeah. to be a successful artist sure to survive <laughs> yeah to pay the bills right. absolutely so are you excited about New York oh I mean, yeah I've lived here for a while right? and, I've lived and, here for 12 years and you have pieces all over the world what's that yeah mean? I, like I just want more. Yeah. It just, more, I more, just want to do more. Yeah. I want to paint. I've never been to Asia. I've never been to South America yet, okay. but I'm going next year. So. Awesome. So just paint everywhere possible. Cover all the walls. That sounds good. I have the, the we've done the block where the words of wisdom, it's the wow moment. If you want to give a shout out or anything else you might want to add. Um, shout out to my daughter, Roxy Bella. Um, and I'm just grateful to do this. Thanks for caring about what I have to say. Awesome. Let's say bye to folks at home. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.